Lawmakers are up against the clock, working now to figure out a way to keep the government running with just one day until it is set to shut down. At the same time, Democrats are trying to raise the debate for the debt ceiling in order to allow for a $4.7 trillion funding measure for infrastructure and social programs. Congress must increase the debt ceiling by mid-October to avoid the first ever default. Republicans say Democrats must approve the increase on their own without any Republican support. They've designed their multi-trillion dollar spending plan to pass without Republican input. They won't even let us at the table to talk to them about some of their policy. In the same way, they don't need help from Republicans to raise the debt ceiling. If the government shuts down, Democrats will be responsible. Senator Grassley there hopes the government can stay open with a clean resolution, which is a short-term funding bill to keep everything running. And if Congress fails to avoid that shutdown, how will it affect Americans? Several social programs would, of course, be impacted, such as Social Security and the VA. While benefits would continue, new claims would be delayed or halted. And while direct COVID-19 response would continue, the Department of Health and Human Services would have to furlough roughly half of its employees, leading, of course, to delays in health care. Plus, airline passengers would potentially see major delays as TSA agents and air traffic controllers would need to work without pay.